In this video, we will add the V-groove bearings to the ZY plate. The ZY plate contains the V-groove bearings for use with the Z-axis rail assembly and the Y-axis rails. In all instances, the bearings will have a very thin washer between the bearing and the larger washer, so the bearing will be able to spin freely and not rub against the large washer. The installation of the first screw is actually shown incorrectly and should be inserted in the reverse side as shown in the short clip of the finished assembly. The first set of two bearings that was just installed and the set that is being installed currently will serve to guide both the y-axis rails and the z-axis rails. A thin washer is not being used between the head of the screw and the bearing or between the nut and the bearing since these features of the screw and the nut does not interfere with the outer races of the bearing and permit the bearing to spin freely. The two screws that were used in this part of the assembly are 3 8 inch screws at 3 inches in length. We will now add the brackets that are used to hold the anti-backlash nut. The brackets will be fastened to the plate using number 8 screws at 1 inch in length. Before inserting the screw, add a small washer. Tighten the nuts on the number 8 screws just snug enough to still be able to move the brackets for later repositioning. The next bearing to be installed will only serve to guide the lower y-axis rail. Use a 3 8 inch screw at 2 inches in length. Include the necessary washers in all of the bearing assemblies. The bearings that use angled slots will serve to guide the right half of the z-axis rail and these bearings are meant to be adjustable so pressure is applied to the rail from these bearings by sliding on the slot appropriately. Test the fit to ensure that the assemblies have been installed properly. <laughs> 